Little known facts about famous painters. Leonardo da Vinci was a vegetarian known for his love for animals. He bought the birds sold in cages just to release them. Paul Gauguin. Paul Gauguin's aggressive nature scared people. He was also a fencing master. They had a close but ephemeral friendship with Van Gogh. Because of his skill with the sword and his bad image, some believed that Gauguin cut off Van Gogh's ear, contrary to popular belief. Vincent Van Gogh. Although Vincent Van Gogh's career was short-lived, he managed to leave 900 paintings behind. He is considered one of the most important painters in world history. But he was able to sell only one painting in his lifetime, he did not see that his art was appreciated. He always needed the financial support of his younger brother Theo. After his death, Theo's wife Jo collected all of Van Gogh's works and did his best to get the recognition he deserved. Pablo Picasso Pablo Picasso became one of the prime suspects when the Mona Lisa was stolen from the Louvre Museum in 1911. A man named Pirette told the Paris Journal newspaper that Picasso had previously stolen Iberian statues from the Louvre. This caused the police to suspect Picasso in the Mona Lisa incident as well. The sculptures are indeed from Picasso. But the painter had not stolen the statues. The whistleblower Pirette actually stole them and then sold them to Picasso. The sculptures were returned to the museum by the painter. There was no trace of his involvement in the Mona Lisa incident. Two years later, the Mona Lisa was found in Florence. It was understood that Vincenzo Paraggia, one of the museum staff, was trying to return the famous painting to his country by stealing it. Michelangelo Michelangelo paid little attention to his personal hygiene. He hardly ever washed and didn't change his clothes much. This caused people to tell exaggerated stories about how dirty he was. Salvador Dali Salvador Dali had an older brother. His name was also Salvador Dali. He died of intestinal inflammation nine months before his birth, so they never knew each other. Because of their resemblance, his mother and father believed that the painter was the reincarnation of his older brother and convinced him of this when he was little. Francisco Goya For some unknown reason, Francisco Goya became completely deaf in his 70s. Some thought he was poisoned by the white lead he often used while painting. This caused his art to become pessimistic as well. During this period, he painted 14 paintings, including some of his most prestigious works, directly on the walls of his house. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.